Pentagon Papers, also known as United States-Vietnam Relations, 1945-1967, to revealed that the Harry S. Truman administration gave military aid to France in its war against Vietnam, Vietnam's leader, which directly involved the United States in Vietnam. The Pentagon Papers was the name given to a secret Department of Defense study of the U.S. political and military involvement in Vietnam. The release of the Pentagon Papers stirred nationwide and also stirred na national controversy because it occurred several years of, after several years of growing dissent over the legal and moral justification of intensifying U.S. actions in Vietnam. As the Vietnam War dragged on and the U.S. military presence in South Vietnam increased, a military analyst, Daniel Ellsberg, came to oppose the war and decided that the information contained in the Pentagon Papers should be more widely available to the American public. Ellsberg, who had worked on the project, had been an ardent early supporter of the U.S. role in Vietnam, but by the project's end had strongly opposed the war and opposed to U.S. involvement in the war. Ellsberg felt compelled to reveal the nature of the U.S. participation and leaked major portions of the Pentagon Papers to the press. Ellsberg secretly photocopied the report and in March 1971 gave the copy to the New York Times, which published a series of articles based on the report's findings. Because of the national uproar that followed, the federal government tried unsuccessfully to block publication of the Pentagon Papers on the grounds of national security. In June 1971, the Times published a series of daily articles based on the information that contained the Pentagon Papers. After the third article, the U.S. Department of Justice got a temporary restraining order against further publication of the material, arguing that it was detrimental to U.S. national security. The Times and Washington Post joined forces to fight the court battle, and on June 30th, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the, federal, that the government had failed to prove harm to national security and that publication of the papers was justified under the First Amendment's protection of freedom of the press. Ellsberg knew that releasing the information would most likely result in his conviction and a sentence of many years in prison. Although the New York Times did not reveal the source of the leak, Ellsberg knew that the FBI would soon determine that he was the source of the leak. So Ellsberg went underground living secretly among like-minded people. He was not caught by the FBI. But on June 28, 1971, Ellsberg publicly surrendered at the U.S. Attorney's Office in Boston. He was taken into custody believing he would spend the rest of his life in prison because he was charged with theft, conspiracy, and espionage. All of the charges against Ellsberg were eventually dropped against Ellsberg. By Ellsberg releasing the Pentagon Papers to the American public, he gave Americans the truth about what was going on with the involvement in Vietnam, of the United States in Vietnam. Um, if you want more information on the Pentagon Papers, I have posted a bunch of websites that I have used on the Zuno Web Press page. Thank you.